Okay, good afternoon. The first candidate we'd like to introduce to you this afternoon is Pritam Singh, uh, sitting on my left. Pritam is 34 years old. Uh, in fact, he's just last week finished his final exams at SMU Law School for the Juris Doctor program. Uh, he also holds a Master of Arts in Law Studies from King's College London and a Diploma in Islamic Studies from the International Islamic University of Malaysia. Professionally, he founded Opinion Asia five years ago. It's an online commentary syndicate focused on Asian issues. He joined the Workers' Party in 2010, was quickly elected into the Youth Wing Exco. Um, and he likes to describe himself as a late bloomer uh, because he says he did not take his studies seriously until after his national service. Prior to that, he was actually much more interested in football and rugby. So I'll give you a good example. Uh, about 10 years ago, I climbed up this long flight of staircase, uh, staircases at the old Workers' Party headquarters in Kalamasa. I'm not sure how many of you remember it. Um, and that's when I met Mr. Lau for the first time. And at that point, I decided that I was probably a little too young for party politics. And decided that I should get some experience in the working world first. Uh, I finally joined the Workers' Party in uh, May of last year and almost immediately involved in house visits, selling the party newsletter, The Hammer. And uh, shortly thereafter, in August last year, I was elected to the Workers' Party Youth Group. Now, why have I thrown my hat into the political ring? You see, I believe that Singaporeans uh, should spend some part of their life in public service, whether you're male or female. And if we accept that the average lifespan of a Singaporean is about 80 years old, is about 80 years, I beg your pardon, then I think 10, 15, 20 years in public service is reflective of a life lived in the forest, where you can change the status quo for the better and look forward to a more progressive society. Now then this, of course, begs the question, why public service in the opposition cause? Now, in the 1990s, I remember uh, then Prime Minister, now Senior Minister Go Chok Tong, imploring young people to join the PAP, uh, to change the system from the inside. Now, two or three elections have gone by, and I'm not sure about the rest of you, but I don't see the system changing from the inside. If anything, I think the system has become even more entrenched. And from 2006 in particular, if we look at what has happened in Singapore, to the lower income, to the middle income, and just the changes that we have seen in Singapore society, I think some of these changes have been incredibly profound and have serious long-term implications for Singapore. Let me read out to you one blogger's comments, which I read on the 13th of April, uh, just a few weeks ago. Uh, this lady uh, in 2004 left to go to Australia to complete her degree in communication design. And um, she came back in 2006. And then in 2011, a few weeks ago, she writes about the changes that she had seen over the last five years. And it's a, it's a good sort of period to reflect on because that's when the people make the PAP a mandate. And this is what she said, just bear with me, it's not too long. In the last five years, I've watched and felt my country change from a familiar friend to a stranger that I barely recognize. It's the fastest, slowest change you can imagine feeling. Almost overnight, ERP systems sprung into place to prevent road congestion while I was stuck in jams in raised price taxis. Suddenly, the faces of Singapore no longer spoke the same English language. I had problems ordering food and drinks in local dining places. And all too soon, I had to let four trains at two minute intervals pass me before I was finally able to physically shove myself into one to get home for dinner at 8 p.m. Of course, this hasn't happened overnight. This has been a growing problem over the last five years. And I hate to break it to you, but five years is a very brief time for such major developments in a small nation like Singapore. I hate what has happened to my country. It doesn't feel like my country anymore. It feels like a temporary island of wild government experiments to see perhaps how many people can fit into one tiny dot before it sinks. 
or how much money you can make per square foot. Strange policies of home ownership and citizenship have been adopted, rewritten, reinforced all over this span of five years. And inevitably, and obviously, it all comes down to our single party ruling system in Singapore. The regime of the PAP has controlled parliament since 1959. This means no one else has had a crack at it. I don't know about you, but this doesn't feel like democracy to me. Hence, I believe that it is vital we have an insurance in the form of a credible opposition presence in parliament. One that, is, one that makes sure that the PAP are acting in the national interest. And one that scrutinizes PAP intentions before policies are unleashed on the public. And in my opinion, never has the need for us to move to a first world parliament ever been so urgent. Thank you very much. I'm contesting in this elections as a Workers' Party candidate because I believe Singapore needs alternative voices. It needs a strong, credible party for the long-term insurance of Singapore. As a businessman, I believe that monopoly is not good for the consumers. There will be lack of ideas, lack of innovation. And all these innovations and ideas should come about when there is competition so that it's for the general good of the consumers. We've seen that happen when the monopoly on telecoms fell, the handphone prices goes down, you know. These are, and there's a lot more innovation that goes on. Precisely for this, Singapore has a competition law to prevent monopolies. While in politics, there's no such law to talk about monopoly, but really I believe it is up to you, the voters, to be able to make that decision as to what direction you want Singapore politics to take. Do we want to have more alternative voices so that you can be heard? Or do you want to continue to have this imbalance in Parliament continue to take place? Thank you. The coming election is about your future, about your children's future, and about into whose hands do you entrust that future? Do you give all of the power that affects your future to one party and hope for the best? Or do you keep that power for yourself and give yourself a choice? A choice of capable parties competing to give you a better future. But in order to have that choice tomorrow, you will need to support the opposition in Singapore today so that we will have the opportunity, the time, and the means to grow and develop and become more seasoned in matters of government. That's what we ask of you. Vote the Workers' Party towards the first world power. So good afternoon everyone. My name is Glenda Han. I have been with Workers' Party since 2004 and this is the second time I'm standing for elections. The first, you know, as what Ms. Kiddin has uh, described, the first being the 2006 general elections where I was part of the suicide squad in Amokyo GRC. So from that experience, I have seen how important a role WP plays in being a strong political alternative in Singapore, where Singaporeans can turn to if they feel that's where they will be better represented. Being up on the stage during those rallies then, where you can't even see where the crowd ends, 
showed me the magnitude of support Workers' Party was given. Rain or shine, the number of people who turn up at our rallies were astounding. So it was a very overwhelming and humbling experience for me. To me, it also signifies the responsibility I have now that I've chosen this group towards the people. Since then, our quality of life, unfortunately, not only did not get better, but I've gotten worse. The reason why I'm here today is the same, but further reinforced as it was when I first stood as a candidate. There has to be a shift of power in the parliament to a more balanced one. Not only will more opposition in the parliament be a better representation of the electorate, it will also be the start of a change in the draconian way Singapore has been ruled over the years, which to me is extremely important if the, if the government wishes to see our young and future generations be more creative and unafraid of taking risks. So I've gone through the baptism of fire, and through my journey with WP, I have seen and understood what is demanded of one if elected into a parliament. I hope the voters will see that I am more than ready to step into that moment.